post-workout drink. As important to your muscles as your inner game development is to your personal development. We are all about facing fears, developing ourselves on this channel and lately we've been all about action facing those situations where we are just so filled up by anxiety because it's such a scary thing. When it comes to doing these things, it's one key thing that needs to be developed. It's one key thing that rules it all and it is consciousness. Developing a high level of consciousness. That is what will give you that. It is what will enable you to do these things. It's the filter that when it's not working, it is taking our attention away from what needs to be done. And that is what this week's challenge is all about. Developing our consciousness so we can actually face what needs to be faced. Why the hell should I take orders from you? Well, it's because I've been doing self-esteem development work for, well, since this year started. I've been doing it in such a focused way and the results is just incredible. It's all based on, on the book, The Six Pillars of Self-Esteem, written by Nathaniel Brandon, the, the guru within self-esteem. Developing a high level of self-esteem, that's the, the overall key to being able to face our fears, to go after what we want, to, to live that tremendous life that we really want to live. And again, I can say this because after doing this intense work, this is what I've come to realize. This is what I've come to, to reach as an outcome. I'm far from a guy with the, the, the top level self-esteem, but I've raised myself from this level to this level, and, and the roof is just, that is what we do here. We, we develop self-esteem, and then we take the other part of putting into action. That is what these challenges are all about. But so to practice a high level of consciousness, we need to actually practice, focus in on being present in the moment, listen to your thoughts and what is actually going on up here. And it's not easy, it's really not. This is what steals our focus away from doing what needs to be done. When I'm about to approach a girl and I'm not focused enough, that makes me think about other things, maybe fiddling with my phone or maybe go into a store looking for clothes or whatever. It steals the attention away because we, we choose to have a low level of consciousness, subconsciously accept it because that means we don't need to do what needs to be done. This is what procrastination is all about. We have a hard work task and we don't actually do that. Instead do something that feels like it's, it's something we should be doing so it's okay. You should be approaching that girl because that is what you know it's the most important thing. That is what really is. Hello, take that. And the solution to this is to develop a high level of consciousness because then we can actually hit the pause bottom in that situation. We're about to do something that's not the thing we should do. But since we have that little radar going, blip, 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 we can pick up on that little action, that little little thought that is starting to grow and take over your mind activity. But it only works if we practice in how to be aware and how to pick up on these things. We have to realize that this is saving us from not doing the things that needs to be done. So developing a high level of consciousness is key for our ability to face our fears, to do the actions that needs to be done, to live the life we want to live. Well, there are a number of different techniques and solutions for how to go about developing a high level of consciousness, but I don't want to overwhelm you. Instead, I'm going to present you with the number one thing that has helped me journaling. Journaling. That is what has taught me how to be conscious. Once an hour, pick up your phone or if you have a notebook or however you'd like to put out your, your thoughts and write down the things that is happening. Hitting the pause button on life and then reflecting on what's going on. It's easy to just think and try to be aware up here. Well, it's not easy. It may be easy to start doing that. Okay, now I'm gonna try to be aware. But it so easily it tends to just fly away to something else. Um, but if we actually have the practice of writing, it makes us clarify our thoughts. It makes us put the, the undefined down to defined words. So 
the objective of the week, the only thing you are gonna do. Pick up your phone, it's always with you, so that's why I say pick up your phone. And you're gonna have a note uh, thingy. I use OneNote, but there are original apps within your phone where you can actually just write down some notes. You can also just open up your email and write an email to yourself. But in there, you are just gonna write out what you're thinking, what you're, you're experiencing in this moment. I'm not up to much. Maybe you were just coming out from an interaction, a social interaction with friends or work colleague or whatever. Oh, by, by the way, have you heard from uh, Tony Stark and Captain America? They didn't contact you? Just write down what, what was happening. Wait, here, talk to Thor. Yeah. He's sort of been waiting to hear from you. I have him right here. Oh, you can't right now? Okay. What you feel within as a result of what happened. Emotions, thoughts, write about it. Write it down. Do a little self-reflection and just spit your thoughts and emotions out there. Am I disappointed that they, that they didn't invite me to fight with them? Um, <laughs> no. That is the only thing I want you to do. Taking that pulse check and you're putting it out there in words. It may not seem like it will do much to you, but it actually will. It will make you realize that maybe you are feeling disappointed or you are having these bad thoughts and emotions concerning your your input to, to a conversation. I just start my own team. Team Thor, of course. And it would be me and Daryl. And if you don't do this little journal practice, you will just cover these emotions up with other actions, maybe getting back to work straight away or doing something else. A little bit of something I've been roasting in the sun for a number of weeks now. It's almost ready. But if you write them down, you can go through these next two pillars. But as for today, this week, we're only gonna learn how to take notice of these things. Just us, right, D? Yep. For me, when I have these intensified uh, consciousness development weeks, I put an alarm on my clock so it beeps every whole hour. Reminds me of doing this little practice. It's super simple, yet super effective, and that is what I want you to do. To, to do. That is what I'm gonna do this week. That is all we're gonna do. We're not gonna force ourselves to take action this week. We're not gonna force ourselves to go through the acceptance state, which is the two other pillars following. Self-acceptance and self-responsibility. Today, this week, we are only gonna focus in on one thing. That is how we develop. At least that's my experience and it has worked well for me. That will steadily enable you to, to grow your level of self-esteem. And I hope you are a little bit excited about it because it's hard to sell something that you haven't experienced. But when you, when you reach a higher level of consciousness, you live with the result of that. It's just tremendous. It, I can pause on life and I can say to myself, no, Alex, this thing is what you need to be doing. You need to approach that girl right now because that's really what's gonna make the difference for you. Even if you do other good things, it's not gonna make you proud because you know somewhere in there that you escape what needed to be done. Now, if you are hungry for more, down there in the description, I will have some other practices, meditation practices, sentence completion exercises, when you start to think more actively in, about in how to be conscious in different life areas. That's from the book, The Six Pillars of Self-Esteem. So with those words, I am hitting pause. I don't know, I'm actually hitting stop on this video. I urge you to hit the subscribe button so we can do this journey together so you can see my other videos. I will be posting my girl approaching videos from last week. It is exciting, I tell you that. And that's all I have to share with you today. My name is Alexander Nielsen. Thank you for watching. Thanks for being awesome. See you in the next video. Bye, guys.